You probably wonder why this Mount Katahdin sign right here. In 2017, I threw hiked the Appalachian Trail. It was maybe the most significant five and some change months of my life. Another thing that changed my life is beer. There was a lot of talk going along the trail about Devil's Backbone. People were saying like, oh, they let hikers camp there for free. Or just thinking like, oh, this is some hole in the wall brewery. They let hikers camp there for free, that's great. We show up, this thing's like a resort, and it was one of the best nights of my life. Me and my friends, we could not find the allotted hikers campground area. So we ended up just like kind of camping in like the lawn of like a mansion. And then we ended up at the restaurant, have a lot of beers. And my tramley, featured in uh, this photo right here, we actually became a tramley at Devil's Backbone. What's really intriguing about this job is the combination of the community of the Appalachian Trail and the community of beer drinking it brings people together in this special way. Because let's be honest, a good craft beer, a good brewery, a good night at the pub brings people together in this special way. I just caught a lightning bug. A lot of people that hike the Appalachian Trail find themselves in existential life-changing moments that lead them to this life-changing experience. 2015, my life is worse than it's ever been. 2016, I discovered the Appalachian Trail. I spent a whole year saving money, losing weight, in order to get myself at the position to through hike the Appalachian Trail in 2017. March 17th, my 26th birthday, I embark on a through hike of the Appalachian Trail. September 7th, I finish that hike. I've spent pretty much every day of my life since I finished the Appalachian Trail thinking about when I did it, missing it, wishing I could do it again. When I did that trail, I put it all out there. I used all my money, I sold all my things. It took me almost six months to hike the Appalachian Trail, but I dedicated a solid year before that to preparing myself to do it. There's not a day that goes by that I don't wish I was back on that trail. The Appalachian Trail changed my life. Probably a dozen people sent me this link saying, hey, here's a thing that was catered for you specifically. I'm like, what is this? Chief hiking officer. Someone that through hikes the Appalachian Trail, good at social media, personable, loves beer, and they're gonna represent Devil's Backbone Brewery while through hiking the Appalachian Trail. Well, here's the thing. Love beer, love craft beer. I know how to use social media. I got a tweet in Entertainment Weekly Magazine. Singer-songwriter Ben Folds followed me on Twitter. Got that tweet on Jimmy Fallon at one time. Let's talk about Coffee Banana Monday for a second. I just started a hashtag once and it got hundreds and hundreds of people just using that thing, most of which I don't know. Let's talk about being personable for a second. Every single person that sent me the link for this job, it wasn't just a matter of, oh, you've hiked the Appalachian Trail and you like beer. This, you should do this. It was a combination of those things as well as you specifically would be great at this. Obviously, two of the best places to have a good heart-to-heart -heart is at a bar and a campfire. Well, <laughs> I think that you want someone to represent your company who represents the trail in an authentic way. Someone who understands the trail for, for what it is. But you want someone that knows every inch of that trail who's done all 14 states, who can tell you the towns, who can tell you where to go, who can tell you the great stealth spots. You want someone that knows the trail because that person is more likely to finish it. You want someone to do the whole thing. You want someone to see it through. And I've done that. Not only have I done that, but I loved it. It's my favorite thing that I've done. The thought of going back is something that I never stop thinking about. A good friend of mine from the trail, Action Jackson, he's a triple crowner, did the PCT, the AT, and the CDT. He said it's the hardest, simplest thing he's ever done. And he said it's hard because it's hard. It's not easy. A lot of people quit for a reason. You need someone that knows that and wants to do it again. He said I loved every second of the trail, even the ones I hated. And I can honestly say that that's how I feel. I loved every second of that trail, even the ones I hated. But if you can find someone that's done it and wants to do it again and represent your company well, you want someone that knows that. And I can honestly say I do. So you want someone that's done the Appalachian Trail, check. You want someone that loves beer, check. You want someone that's good at social media, check, 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 check. I mean, I don't have the blue check, but who knows. You want someone that's excited about it. Ask anyone that I've talked to about this opportunity. They'll tell you, my eyes lit up. I got so excited at the prospect of being able to do this. The Appalachian Trail is my home, it's my family, and I would love for you to get to be a part of that.